new warnings this evening just as people flood into America's national parks for vacation and of course relief from the heat. This alert comes after that tragedy that took three young lives at Yosemite. They were swept over a 317 foot waterfall at the park in California. ABC's David Wright tonight on the other weather extreme that likely played a role in this. The majestic beauty of America's national parks can be deadly if you get too close. In Yosemite, a massive snowmelt has made the waterfalls even more dramatic than usual. A liquid avalanche thundering over the abyss. Three young adults ignored the warning signs and jumped over the guardrails for a better view. I looked up and I saw a girl sitting on the ledge with her feet hanging over where she wasn't supposed to be. And then looked back up and I go, okay, she's gone. Apparently they were taking photos, playing in the water. One of the males lost his footing, started to slide down. Second male tried to rescue him and also lost his footing. Then the third person, the female, did. And unfortunately, all three were swept over Vernal Fall. I saw the man's eyes as he was going over the waterfall, and that was devastating. This sort of thing happens more often than you'd think. Last year, 156 people died in the national parks and the Park Service had to spend more than $5 million on searches and rescues. At Niagara Falls this week, a young bride hopped over the guardrails near the rapids. I wanted to touch beauty. Moments after her fiancé shot these images, she got swept into the churning water below the falls. There's somebody in the water! Lucky for her, a tourist boat pulled her out. Getting back to what happened in Yosemite, though, what were they thinking? I mean, this was totally preventable. Signs were posted by the Park Service in many different languages, warning of the raging waters, and they were raging. My heart goes out to the victims of this tragedy. My head just cannot comprehend the decision-making that went on to step beyond that guardrail and into those raging waters. The point is to get close to nature, but to follow the rules and not get too close. No tourist snapshot is worth a human life. David Wright, ABC News, Los Angeles.